I figured this time I, I wanted to mix it up with working with some of the best mm -hmm. commercial songwriters and producers in the business. Did you find that they push your limitations a little bit? What I found working with Will I Am and Pharrell and guys like that is they're just, they just want to keep it positive, keep it light, mm -hmm. keep everybody on the dance floor. How did Blur Lines kind of come together? So we had been in the studio for a couple days and we made a couple records and then he just went, hey, 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 like that. And I was like, oh, I love that. It's like Fat Albert or something. So I went in the booth, did the hey, hey, hey's, and then an hour, hour and a half later, we had the whole record finished. Is there anyone of the younger generation that motivates you that you look at? Hip-hop artists, you know, like Drake, Kanye, Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar is an amazing talent. These guys are, are saying things that nobody else is, would, would say or has the balls to say. How did the video come together? The video was, uh, you know, I wanted to do something funny and silly. I said, well, what if we have the girls take their clothes off? The Blurred Lines, I feel like there's so many meanings to this title. How would you kind of describe well, it? Well, mainly I think Blurred Lines, the song is about what it's about, but the album is about where I'm at in my life, which is my whole life is one big blur that I'm just trying to uh, manage as best I can and uh, believe in myself and, and provide for my family and put my kid through college and, you know, you get a little older and we all have the same basic fundamental desires and needs as human beings, you know. And, um, and they all, all of those compromises and sacrifices get blurred. What did Alan think of the video? Oh, my dad, well, that's a heck of a video there, you know. A little controversy there, probably. Everybody loves it. I mean, my three-year-old loves it, too. He, he, he loves the video. He just goes, that's daddy. Do you find now, <laughs> as you grow up and you're a parent, that people see you and you're starting to kind of become your dad a little bit? Oh, yeah, I, I sound more and look more like my dad all the time. I, and I do the little things, the little details that my dad does. And when we sit, like if we sit together, we'll both start picking at our nails at the same moment or cross our leg the same way in the conversation. Like, you know, it's just uh, natural, you know. It's he's, inevitable. Uh, yeah, he's my, uh, you know, he's one of my idols. He's, 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 he's Papa Thick. If Growing Pains ended up coming back and you had to do a remix to the Growing Pains song, would you do it? Absolutely not. You, would, <laughs> you wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot It's a classic. Pole. You don't touch the classic. <laughs>